welcome to WRPV and WRPV Studios. Okay, so the internet comes about years ago, and all of a sudden, marketing became so different for everybody. And the ones that in the industry always had to now step up their game. And you find that the ones that stepped up their game are still in it and then making changes. With me is Nicholas Scalise. That's correct. And you're with Port St. Lucie Business Club. Yes. Hello, Nick. Hello. I called you Nick. I'm sorry. That's sorry, fine. Mr. Nick. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how long have you been in the marketing industry? I've been working in marketing since 2009. I started when okay. I was in college. And then I started my own agency in 2015. Okay. Why? You know, it's uh, something that I fell into. I wanted to be a police officer. I went to school for criminal justice. I have a master's degree in public administration. I was on the path to be a law enforcement officer. And I got injured prior to getting into the academy. Oh, wow. I was accepted to the academy. And, uh, you know, they just kept pushing me back, pushing me back due to an injury with my knee. Uh, and it was one of those things where I had to make a life choice, as we most often do, where I had to decide, you know, is this something I'm going to continue to try to pursue, even if everything's against me, or am I going to try to do something else? And throughout college and even before that, I had always been interested in web development and marketing. And I had a small side business in college, and I said, you know, I could probably run with this. And it just turned uh, into eventually into an agency after working for other agencies and freelancing. And eventually, uh, that's what I decided to go with. So it's sort of my backup plan in life. <laughs> and sometimes our backup plan becomes our main plan. It does. It does. <laughs> okay. So surely, this was never anything I expected. I was in real estate. I made a ton of money in real estate. Um, and somehow, I fell into this. But... God has a plan. Yes. Okay. In spite of us. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. So you decide to get into this. You've worked for other companies prior. Mm -hmm. Did, so, and this is just a path thought that I always think about. Sometimes it's better not to have worked and get a bunch of bad habits from other people right. than it is to then you know start clean and scratch. So you had already worked for other companies. You started your own. Did you utilize what you learned from there, or did you change things around? Yeah, that's a great question. So when it comes to marketing specifically, one thing that can help you set yourself apart as a marketer is getting a lot of experience in a lot of different areas rapidly. And the best way to do that is to work at an agency because you're going to be exposed to so many different clients. When I was working at an agency for someone else, I was managing 30 clients at a time as just a, an un, you know unknown marketer just trying to learn and I was able to learn so much faster so I always recommend to anyone interested in marketing to try to get some of that agency experience first if I didn't have that I don't think I could have started my own agency because it's it's what I learned at that agency that I, I was able to take and, and refine and say you know I want to specialize in this so I do think that it, it is important to get experience before you just jump in okay so you said the word you want to specialize mm -hmm. in this so <clears throat> I'm going to guess that because I don't really, I mean, I know marketing, obviously, I've been doing it forever, but I don't know marketing from your end, okay? I've always marketed me, mm -hmm. my companies, and companies' videos, mm -hmm. okay? But there's so much more to it, Yeah. okay? There's, I guess, press releases and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you decide to do this on your own. Mm -hmm. So my next question is, did you have support? Yeah, so when I started, I didn't have that much support. I was a freelancer, but then when I decided to start my own agency, about a year into it, I knew I needed support, so my wife actually became my co-partner and co-founder. <laughs> uh, and, and right now she works uh, and she does about 50% of running the agency. So it were, you know, they always say it's difficult working with your spouse, but we've made it work now since 2016, and it's been working out really well. Well, when I started... <coughs> And then my wife today came into the picture 20-something years ago. She's the reason that the company is where it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, First of all, everybody has heard this before. To be an entrepreneur, you got to be a little crazy. Yeah. And then to be an entrepreneur with a brick and mortar, like a building. And if you're <laughs> an entrepreneur with a brick and mortar that's in the food industry, you're oh, totally out of yeah. it. <laughs> you're totally out. So what kind of companies do you market for? I mean, do you have a niche for, like, hey, I just want to market for bars, or I just want to market for bagel shops, or I just want to market for air conditioning, or do you... It all, yeah, so we're actually a very specialized agency, and we only work with other marketing agencies. 
So I know it sounds very strange, but it does uh, sound strange. Yeah, a lot of agencies don't want to do everything. So there there are a lot of marketing agencies out there that'll specialize in um, running ads. They would be referred to as media buyers. They'll run ads on Google and Facebook, but they don't want to do all the other things that come along with it. They're really good at that one thing, and so they'll find a partner to work with for specific projects and specific specialties. And so that's where, where I really found a niche where we specialize in landing page optimization, which is a very technical, convoluted term, but it basically means if you click on an ad, uh, you shouldn't send that person to a, a home page of a website because it's very distracting. So we build very conversion-focused landing pages for so, other agencies. Correct me if I'm wrong, but so the landing pages actually are considerably more simple? More simple, absolutely. One okay. call to action, one thing for people to do, not a whole bunch of things to get distracted with. Interesting. You know, and most people wouldn't think of that. Okay, so when I got into the industry, I was told more people go to the About Us page than the home page. Right. Is that true? In many cases, yes. But the, I think the general idea is people want to learn about you before they do business with you. Yeah. And, again, <coughs> that's why... What we do was so specialized because for us, it was like, all right, you're a realtor. Well, now people see you, heard you talk, know what you're thinking, not, hey, there's just a picture and they're coming on my house. Right. Okay. So there's something about that. And, you know, times change. Content has always been king. Mm -hmm. Video content is king of kings. And people are nervous now about who comes to their house right. and stuff. So it was really a good fit for us. So... You start this company back in the day, and now recently mm -hmm. you decided to take just a you keep you have your company, right. but mm -hmm. you have another finger within yeah. your company. What is that? Yeah, so yeah, that's really what I love talking about, and and what I'm more passionate about right now is this thing called Port St. Lucie Business Club, which I started about three months ago. We started in August of 2023, and. This is a group for entrepreneurs and also folks who are interested in entrepreneurship in the Treasure Coast area to learn and to connect with other business owners and to get the support that they need. So it's uh, think of it as an online marketing uh, networking group that is free and open to all. And uh, we've almost grown to about 1,000 members. Wow. Yeah. You know, <coughs> you were on our YouTube channel, so you've seen a bunch yeah. of videos. So we, I deal with a ton of um, entrepreneurs. Absolutely. And we kind of fall on the same line because we're a little crazy each. And um, and then I kind of ran into you, and I said, you know what? There's a synergy, and um, there are so many networking groups that there's always an event <laughs> three times a day. At least. Oh, yes. Okay, so what made you decide to do this and make it stand out from other networking? Yeah, so I moved up here two years ago from South Florida. Back then in South Florida, I was always involved in the local business scene. I was always uh, one of those networkers who just liked to get out to events. And when I moved up here, I started looking for that, and I found the same old things. There were the BNI type one of groups. That will never happen for me. Go ahead. Right, they're very limited. There were also online groups on Facebook, because I'm a digital marketer, so I go to Facebook first. And I noticed a lot of these business groups, you go in there and all it is is an ad or an ad or just a self-promotion, get your air ducts cleaned, get your car serviced. And I felt like there was something missing for business owners in the Treasure Coast to be able to truly connect. And so just like all entrepreneurial stories start, you know, I said, there's got to be a better way, so let me create it really for my own selfish purposes of wanting to have that type of experience. And so I created the Port St. Lucie Business Club. I sat on the idea for a few months, and then I said, let's just launch with a small Facebook group. <laughs> and it started uh, really taking off, and it's free, and it's open to all. And where we really try to be different is we are not a self-promotional group. So it's not one of these Facebook groups where you just go in and post your ad. We have different themes for every day of the week, like today is Motivation Monday. We have Who's Who Wednesday, where we feature a member of our community. And then on Thursdays, we have an opportunity for people to promote their business. So we don't have zero self-promotion, but that's not the focus. We want to help people in three ways. Um, we call it PSL, Port St. Lucie. It also means people, support, and learning, PSL. So those are the three things. We want to connect you with the right people. We want to give your business the support it needs. And we want to give you learning opportunities to grow your business. So <clears throat> let me see if I got this right. So really, you're, a big part of your group is... Hey, this lady has a clothing store. This guy has a thrift store. 
this clothing store just opened. The thrift store has been around 20 years. They'll connect, mm -hmm. and they'll kind of figure out how one and another can help one another. And that's happened several times. Yeah, there's been lots of stories that I've heard from our members of people they've met in the group where it's not only about doing business with them one time, but it's about them helping support each other, helping their businesses, and that's truly what the group is about. You know, networking has become a social thing. It has. Yeah. Okay. Um, I find that um, I, I'm on the Stuart Martin Chamber, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm on the board, and I go to every event, mm -hmm. and I don't just go for business. I go because I've gotten great friendships, Yeah. and you can't buy that. No. Okay? And you can't buy having somebody to kind of throw ideas off that have been in an industry or have been an entrepreneur, you know? So that makes makes sense. Do you expect the future for your group ever to meet physically? Like Yeah, like have an in-person event? Yeah. Yeah, so we're actually in the very early stages of planning it. Uh, we have a, di a date that we're going to be announcing pretty soon, um, and we're going to do things differently. We're going to meet at a small local business. We're going to try to support the local community, and it's not going to be just a business card exchange. We're going to have a learning component to it. So absolutely, I think you know this is going to grow into more than a Facebook group. We want to have a newsletter. We have a podcast in the works. We just want to support the local business community and do so in a, in a way where it's, we're not charging, at, at least right now. There's not really a revenue model that I'm concerned with. I just want to connect people. I want to help support what's already there. I don't want to replace the existing networking infrastructure. I go to a lot of the same uh, networking <laughs> events you do. We've met at SPAM. We've met at uh, the, the Steamworks event. So we just want to augment that. And, you know, I'm in a good enough position with our agency where that can fund the growth of Port St. Lucie Business Club for the time being, where we don't have to worry about, you know, a revenue generator at the moment. You know, it's interesting that you say that because in the days gone by, I used to have maybe two or three times a year an event here. Mm. And I bought all the food and charged anybody. I bought all the wine, the soda, the water, because it wasn't about making money. Right. I had a business. Yeah. Okay, I had two businesses. It was about connecting people. Yeah. And making them successful. Um, we had thought about launching a networking group all about video. Mm. Okay. So important. Yeah. Uh, right. So it was kind of tough to kind of, and I have great space. Oh, yeah. But it was like, well, I had to be careful, and I kind of put it off, and then People come in here and they do their videos and they end up having their videos, but they don't know what to do with them. Yeah. So I'm now going to be doing a free class at Stuart Martin Chamber hmm. for people who got their videos from us. And I'm going to teach them how to use those videos, how to add other videos, because like you, it can't just be about money. Right. And that's going to be a free class. That's amazing. So, so I, I think... You're on the right track to do the right thing, and I believe by doing the right thing, it'll come back to It you. always does. That's yep. been my my guiding principle for many years, so absolutely. And if you connect the right people, uh, what is it, this, the famous Zig Ziglar quote, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. Right. So, so you have this group, and what kind of businesses are in this group? That's the amazing thing. We have all different types of businesses, from the brick-and-mortar businesses that, uh, that, you, that you were speaking about to service-based businesses. Um, and we also have a lot of business owners who support other businesses, financial advisors and business consultants and uh, video producers. And it's such a diverse mix. And it's not just Port St. Lucie. It's all of the Treasure Coast. Um, we have almost 1,000 members as, at the moment. And it's open to everyone. So there's really no limit. As long as you come in there and you give more than you take, and you understand it's not about self-promotion first, um, and you share tips, and you um, share advice, and you answer questions, it's a really welcoming place for business owners. What do you see the future of it? I see it as a, a place to really focus on those three things that, that we talked about, the, the PSL, the acronym, uh, People, Support, and Learning. So it's, uh, I see it as a, as a way to connect people in the city and in the Treasure Coast who want to either start a business. It's also not just for business owners. If you're a budding entrepreneur and you want the right... Uh, roadmap. It's a good place to get feedback. And it's also a place to help connect business owners with support. For instance, I didn't even know about the S uh, SBDC, Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. um, I learned about that as I was 
looking for resources to share in the group. And then I posted in the group and I said, who's aware of these resources that are right here in our backyard at the Pruitt campus at Indian River? And a lot of people did not know about them. So we were able to share some of those resources and classes. And so just being able to connect the resources that the city puts on, the SBDC, WeVenture, SCORE, there's all these resources for entrepreneurs here um, and we want to help surface that. And then the final thing is with, with learning, we want to have events, we want to have workshops and in-person events. So I think there's a lot of opportunity, but you know we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. We're just going to start with the Facebook <laughs> right. group and grow as it as it develops. We had an event here years ago, I guess four or five years ago, which um, was um, how to learn learning about drones, mm. how to fly them. And then, so we were in here, we did a class, and then we went outside, and people were able to fly our drones. <laughs> nice. Okay. Because it was it was first coming about drones yeah. were getting big and stuff like that, and he wanted to know the rules. You know, uh, Edgar is a licensed drone pilot, hmm. and um, you try to do things and learn. Because really, I hate to say it this way, because I was not big in it, but education is a major part of being it successful. Is. Yeah, and I'm not talking about whatever I learned in school. I probably don't <laughs> use same. Yeah, but what I've learned. Just doing practical mm -hmm. is really what's gotten me to where I'm at yeah. today. And now you're able to share it with others, which is the most important. You know, I coined a phrase years ago called co-opetition. Mm. So people in the same industry who are good people, yep. we're not competition. Mm -hmm. We're in competition. We, there's enough for everybody we share. Absolutely. People who are in competition with me, meaning in the same industry but sneaky and undercutting and stuff like that, I just don't deal with. Right. Okay. I don't need the stress or the aggravation. And there was, you know, everybody with cell phone now is a talk show host, a videographer, <laughs> and a photographer. Yes. Okay. And we don't do, even though I was one of the pioneers for Skype and Zoom, we don't do interviews like that. Hmm. We make them come in. Yeah. Okay. If you really want to make be successful, you got to do the things that you need to do and be different. Right. Yeah. Even you know how many people come through here and say, "Oh my God, I'm so nervous." Be in front of the camera. I was so nervous. <laughs> I had one guy came in a light blue shirt. When he left, it was dark blue. He sweated through the <laughs> But sometimes you have to come out of your comfort zone. Right. Okay? And one of the things that you need to do is have a starting place. Yes. So the Port St. Lucie Business Connection is a great starting place if you're new and if you're in business because you're going to meet a potpourri of people. Mm -hmm. And if you pull one thing if you're there a month, I should say, and you put one thing, you're way ahead of the game. Yeah. All right, Nicholas, how do people find you? You can just go on Facebook and search for a group called Port St. Lucie Business Club, or you can go to pslbusinessclub.com. Everybody, check him out. He, I always say about using a professional, he is the professional in this path that is surely good to use and affordable <laughs> for the moment. You can't beat free. You can't beat free. With that, Nicholas, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Wayne. Everybody will be right back.